Hey guys, for sake of reality here, in this video I'll be showing you how to integrate our climbing component to multiplayer system version 3. So at the end we'll be able to climb all of the obvious obstacles, vault over things, and slower moving ones will also work. So without further ado, I'll get into setting this up. Just gonna move this over here out of the way. So first thing you're gonna want is a copy of the multiplayer system and a copy of the climbing component. And you're just gonna wanna migrate this over. To your project. And in the content folder here, select that folder, copy over all the files. And now we'll have the climbing component and multiplayer system. So the first thing we're going to do is come into the climbing component. And an easy way to get our our animations retarded if it's from one UE4 skeleton to another, you simply just delete the skeleton, find the multiplayer system skeleton, and replace references. And that will it's as simple as that, getting all the animations on the multiplayer system skeleton. Gonna test one of them. And as you know, I was just previewing the multiplayer system. So everything looks like it works fine. It's going through the ground like that because of the motion. This is how it looks without ruby motion. So that's the animations. Next thing we're going to do is come into our master character here. And we'll also want to open up the multiplayer system character. I think it's this one. And the first thing we're going to do is add the climbing component. And for naming purposes, to make it a little easier, I'm just going to remove the BPC, so it's just climbing component. And also you can come in here and on success only, so now if you compile, it'll also save if there's no issues. And once we're in their master character here, we will want to find our sprint, which is a even movement and action mapping. And down here at the bottom, I'm just going to move this out here to give us some room. Now we're going to try to get the climbing component. Search climb slash vault. We're going to get our climb state and equals the um, which was the top one. And hold B and click, and that'll let you create a branch. And from true, we'll plug this in. So basically, what's happening here is we're triggering the climbing which will tr do the tracing and set our climbing state and if no climbing state is set say if we jump and the trace doesn't hit anything that we're able to climb then it'll be set to none so we'll just do our jump otherwise we'll do nothing and we'll continue on doing our climbing bolt if we don't hit anything with the trace it'll be set to none so it'll just stop it would stop after that inside that function we'll continue to do any climb and that's all we need in the character, I 
move. We can also, we're also going to want to go into our capsule component. And for whatever reason, it's oversized. I'm just going to reduce that size a little bit. Alternatively, you can go into the function library and adjust the trace length, or I believe it's actually in the component for the trace length. And we'll also want to search in our component for split speed and set this to a lower value so that multiplayer system is actually picking it up. And we can just, if you don't want to automatically climb things when you're sprinting, you can just toggle this value off. And now sprint climb will be disabled. It's also right here in these other toggleable values. And now we'll want to compile and save that. If you have the unsuccess, it will automatically. Now we want to find our AMBP. BP. And we're looking for the AMBP BP MPS master. And all we need to do in here to have things work properly is drag out get our default slot put that in now we're going to go into our climbing component and open up the component itself This is a decapricated event, deprecated event from uh, an updated version. They actually changed how this works. You won't really have to do this, but if you do have this issue, you can just, it still works, but you can just basically retype in the name and get the other one, get, and then there's just another one. I believe you want to use actually the top one, not the pure function. But anyways, in here, the main thing we're going to do is over here, just checking, make sure, exactly. Okay, right before the delay tick, there's a like, perfect amount of space there for us. We want to get our character ref. Cast to our multiplayer system character. We need to get a function that's in there. Alternatively, you can create an interface to get the value directly from here. It'll take a little more work. This is just a little faster way of doing it. Then our active slot, which will get our current active weapon, the ID for it. And we'll also want the holster. And we'll get the server holster. This will get our whatever weapon is equipped. And for this, we're going to want to set a really high play rate just because we want the weapon to play really quick right before we climb. Quickly holster the weapon. And then way at the end here. We're gonna get our mesh. And an instance current act montage. Length. So let's look at the length of the current the, the current animation playing, and we're gonna subtract a little bit so it will can't so it will uh, trigger it slightly earlier. You can move this to a variable if you want, and just so you can adjust that to how you want. Point two works fine for me. I'm just gonna create a delay node and plug that in for the delay. That'll be a delay until you re-equipped your weapon. So this will allow us to re-equip slightly early. And we'll want to 
copy this, paste it, and get our active slot again. And we're going to go for server draw, active slot, and we can just turn it up a little bit, I guess. It's, but you can set that speed to whatever you want. It's a normal, like after you're done climbing, you'll draw your weapon again. And I believe that is everything. I'm just going to load up the test map. Just to make sure I didn't miss anything. And I want to set the... Multiplayer system character. Oh, that's kind of weird. Okay, I've had this issue happen once before when I first created the project. One second. Alright, yeah, so my issue was I never loaded a character into the map before, so it didn't have any save file, I guess, for me. It's going to start here. The first thing I notice is that the jump is broken, but I already know how to fix that. I'll fix that in one moment. I'm just going to check to see if I'm bolting and everything is fine. It's really Three lines. I'm not going to weird rotate the site or anything. So to fix the issue of you can't jump, this will be fixed in the next update of the components. They may not even have to do this, but if you do, you'll want to come in for climbing state. And set this to none in the component. I'm going to fix that issue with the radio. And we'll be able to jump. And we're going to the bolts. Everything works fine. If you, have any, if you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to leave those in the comments below or join our Discord. We have a helpful community and we're, also, we're pretty active in there, so usually when you need to ask a question, we'll answer it pretty quickly. Thanks, and I'll see you all in the next video.